All right, so here I'm asked to find the intercepts and graph this equation. This is in standard form. That means there's a number times x plus a number times y equals a number. That's what standard form means. And one of the ways we can graph it is by finding what's called the intercepts. So if I want to find the y-intercept of a, an equation, what I do is I recognize that that y-intercept is going to be somewhere on the y-axis. What does that mean? Well, think about what these points are. This is 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 4, 0, negative 3. And you notice that the x value in all of those points is 0. So what do we do? We plug in 0 for x. So I'm going to write 3 times 0 minus 6y equals negative 12. So where did this 0 come from? I decided I was going to plug in 0 for x, and then I'm going to find out what's the y value when x is 0. And that's going to tell me where on the y-axis this, uh, this line will hit the, the y-axis. Okay, so what does that look like? So 3 times 0, that's just 0, right? I don't even have to write that. So that kind of just ends up canceling almost, right? And then what I'm left with is negative 6y equals negative 12. Now, I need y by itself, right? That's how I get the y value. So right now, y is being multiplied by negative 6. I'm going to divide by negative 6. And I get y equals negative divided by negative is positive, and 12 divided by 6 is 2. So my y-intercept is a point. And on that point, my x value is 0, right? My points are always x, comma, y. My x value is 0, and my y value is 2. So that's my y now I'm going to find the x-intercept. How do I find the x-intercept? Well, I say, okay, well, the x-intercept is going to be somewhere on this line. And on this line, the points are like 2, 0, negative 3, 0. And if you hear me saying 0 in that second spot, the y value is always 0. So this time, I'm going to plug in 0 for y. Okay, now what happens here? Negative 6 times 0 is 0. So this, again, kind of cancels out. And it leaves me with just 3x equals negative 12. Now I want x by itself. I'm going to divide by 3 on both sides. I get x equals negative divided by positive is negative. 12 divided by 3 is 4. So this time my x value, my x value is negative 4. And my y value, that second value, is 0 because I plugged in 0 for y right here. Now when I go to graph these points, negative 4, 0 is right here. And notice that is the x-intercept. It's on the x-axis. And the y-intercept is right here. And notice it's on the y-axis. Okay, in Edge Elastic, when you graph those two points, it just automatically gives you that line. Okay, so that's what you're going to be doing. You're going to be finding the y-intercept, giving your answer as a point, giving, finding the x-intercept, giving your answer as a point, and then put it on the graph.